What's poppin', man? It's T.O. Double, man. This is the seventh episode of the Amcray Podcast, and I want to call this episode Diddy and the Bad News. Diddy and the Bad News. I'm led to call it that, man. I'm not going to, like, talk super fast. I want to make sure that I talk slowly because I want you to understand everything that God is about to say through me to you. So I want you to pay very close attention to the whole Diddy situation from the beginning of it to the very end when you see the last result especially if you don't know christ why because diddy's situation is a perfect perfect picture of what it's going to be like for every sinner that doesn't know christ What, what do i mean by that the bible teaches that god is holding man accountable for what they do during their life And not only that, but let's take it a step further. God is holding men accountable even for the seeds that they plant during their lifetime. He's going to hold them accountable for the trees that have grown up even after they died. So the Diddy situation is a picture of God's judgment because judgment in its essence is spiritual. See, this is not a natural situation going on. Diddy's situation is um, spiritual. All judgment is is spiritual. Um, think about what people say. You know, you reap what you sow or the concept of karma. What is the concept of karma? People may not know that they're admitting this, but if you believe in karma, you are admitting that there is a judge somewhere, an unseen judge evaluating all situations and making sure that all people get what they deserve. There's a judge somewhere that makes sure that nobody gets away with anything, that they get what they deserve. So what the Bible does is it just takes that concept and tells you the truth about it. There is a judge, his name is God, and he has already established the fact that he's going to judge the world with righteousness and justice nobody's getting away with anything because there is a god now when people don't believe in god it's not that they don't want to believe in god it's that they're trying to escape the concept of accountability see everybody would love to live as if they're never going to be held accountable for what they do in this life i heard somebody say something stupid they said uh Live life like nobody's watching. Did you know that's the worst advice you could ever give somebody? I'm talking about the worst advice. Because not only is God watching, the Bible teaches in Daniel, the book of Daniel, that there are beings called watchers. And these are supernatural beings that work for God. And their entire job is to watch humans. Watch them. You got somebody watching you. There is no privacy in the spirit. All events are being seen. And not only seen, they're being understood. Some of these beings that God has employed to watch mankind uh, have eyes, not just on their head, but on their wings, on their, their, their legs. They're full of eyes. Why do they have so many eyes? Because they're recording. They're reporting And they're writing down deeds of man. Nobody's getting away with anything. So back to the Diddy situation. Notice how everybody's seen the video of him and what he did to Cassie. Uh, You know, he beat, beat the girl down on video. And he tried to pay to get that video put away, but it came out anyway. Now, I want you to pay very close attention because this is going to be what it's like for all sinners. God is going to bring into light all the works of people who don't know Christ. I want to teach you about the great white throne judgment. In the book of Revelations, it speaks of an event that happens at the very end of the world. I'm talking about the very end of the world. When everything is done, the Bible says the the sky will be rolled up like a scroll and it'll, it'll vanish away. And the earth will flee from the presence of him who sits on the great white throne. Who is this that's sitting on the throne? 
it's God. Think about how terrifying God is. God is so terrifying that when he appears to judge everything, earth is going to flee and the sky is going to roll up like a scroll and get the heck up out of there because it don't want nothing to do with what's about to go down. What's about to happen? A judgment. At this time, the Bible says hell, the souls that are in hell, they're going to come up out of there and they're going to be connected back with their physical bodies to stand before this person who is sitting on this great white throne. Now, why do the sinners have to have bodies in order to stand before God? Because God is a living God. He's not dead. So he can't judge you if you are dead. So he has to bring you back to life and put you back in the body so that you can um, uh, converse with God and give an account for, for your lifetime. So the Bible teaches that men will stand before God on this and God will be sitting on this great white throne and the books will be open. Now, what are these books? These books are the book of life, which, you know, contains all the names of the people that receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Then the other book is um, the deeds of the sinners, which which is all the things that they did in their lifetime and also all the things that they were responsible for um, after they left the earth. Now, what do I mean by that part? Even after a sinner dies, their actions that they've done, the evil things that they've done, cause the domino effect to happen. So even though they might be dead in, in the grave, the dominoes are still falling. They're still causing other people to fall because of what they did in 1972. What they did in 1972 is still having an effect on people in 2024 because deeds of man are seeds and when they plant them they grow into trees so the reason why god had to wait until the end of the world to judge them is because he's not only holding man accountable for what they did during their life but he's going to hold them accountable for that big old tree that tree of um, the snowball effect of what their deeds um, produced if that makes sense so that's why you don't want to end up on the side of god's judgment you want to receive this sacrifice of Jesus because he saved us from all of this. But going back to what's happening to the sinner, he's standing before God and God is now about to about to sentence this individual. So the Bible teaches that the accounts that people give, there's going to be a lot of people giving a lot of stories about why they did what they did. But without Christ, the Bible says that there will be no excuse. There will be no excuse um, that will cause people to escape the judgment that's coming to them uh, mainly because they rejected the sa the sacrifice that god provided for them to escape out of the situation and not only rejected the sacrifice rejected his son you know god feels some type of way about that so it teaches once they're held accountable for the deeds that they've done and the things that happen afterwards they the angels will come and cast the people that have not known Christ into what's called the lake of fire. Now, this lake of fire is not Lake Michigan. It's a lake of fire. And the Bible calls this the second death. Why? Because remember how I told you they were put back into a body so that they could get judged? Well, once they get thrown into this lake of fire, they die a second time. They died once on the earth, in, you know, in, in their natural body. They got this new body and got thrown into the lake of fire and they died a second time that's why it's called the second death so if you're not saved if a person that's not saved is going to have to die twice and that's not good news now going back to the diddy situation what he's sitting in jail awaiting a court date and it's i can imagine it's very dreadful because he has all these witnesses rising up, up rising up against him he even got somebody writing a book i think they wrote a book um, he's got, you know, video footage and all this stuff. So pay, pay close attention because these are the things um, that are a picture of what's going to happen when a sinner gets judged. You know, God's going to bring witnesses. You know, there's going to be um, um, footage. You know, there's going to be all manner of evidence because God is just. See, he can't just, you know, throw you into the lake of fire. You have to have a due trial. But the trial is not going to help. Because the Bible says that no man can be justified before God um, 
um, by his own good deeds. Because the scriptures say that man's good deeds are like a filthy rag to God. And it also st says that, you know, when you break one of God's commandments, you've broken all of his commandments. Picture it like this. Um, if you're holding on to a, a, a link chain, a chain that's made of links, and, you know, you, you're holding on to the chain and there's a fire at the bottom of you. How many links in that chain have to break in order for you to fall in the fire? Two of them, three of them, all of them. How about just one? If one of those links break, you're done for. So that's like God's commandments. When a man breaks just one of God's commandments, they, God considers that they have broken the whole thing. And now a man cannot be justified by doing anything good because he still has to pay for the commandment that he broke and he can never pay pay that payment because he's disrespected God he's dishonored God by not keeping his commandments so Christ came in a human body and fulfilled God's commandments he is the only individual that lived out a perfect life and didn't break any of God's commandments and that's why he's a suitable sacrifice for you because he died in your place so the deal is this if you receive Christ by faith, he's going to be a picture or image of you on that cross. And you're going to be an image of him as righteous and justified. God is going to take your sin, place it on Jesus, and he's going to take Jesus' righteousness and place it on you. So that when you do stand before him in this great uh, day, you know, well, actually, this will not be the judgment for the righteous. See, if you're saved, this... You won't have anything to do with this great white throne judgment. You have another ceremony uh, where you'll be getting rewarded and stuff. But um, this will cause you, you know, being saved, it will cause you to escape this great white throne judgment that we're talking about. So I want to give you a picture of, you know, um, why a savior is so important. See, in, in Diddy's situation, what he needs right now is a savior. What I mean is on his court date, if he doesn't have anybody come in and intervene for him and 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 be willing to take the price for what he's done then he's screwed i don't like saying that but it's over you know he's gonna have to accept the full penalty for everything that he's done you know god forbid it'd be life in prison well what if somebody came in that courtroom and had the ability to say Take the judgment that you were going to put on him and put it on the individual that walked in the courtroom. Now, this individual, if the judge allows that, the judge would take that person to jail in place of Diddy and Diddy would get to go free. But the person that they're taking in Diddy's stead would suffer great judgment because he's being penalized for all the things that Diddy had did. So I'm just trying to give you a picture of what happens when you get saved. Um, I'm, my 15 minutes is about up, but um, we got more coming, man. This is an extensive topic, and I wanted to give you something to think about, man. So until next time, this is TL Double, M Craig Podcast. Peace out.